He comes to this man's channel, does everything he ain't supposed to be doing. You need to stop. Your entire existence here in YouTube is nothing but a projection. Because he had a change of heart. God damn, Goji Man. Because he had a change of heart. <laughs> you need to stop. You heart. need to stop. You need to stop. <laughs> change of heart. <laughs> That's right, vegans. Things just got weirder. I am the vegan carburetor here on YouTube. I'm the founder of the VDC and leader of the vegan foot soldiers. And I've been receiving information that there is a competing army in our midst. Since the spring of 2018, the carnivore community has come out of the caves and have been walking amongst us in society. A lot of sharks jumping into the arena too many for us to juggle. But they haven't had a real leader that sticks out yet. But you may have noticed in the last week or two that they seem to be all rallying around a person that we haven't heard of. Who is this person? This video is to introduce him to you and send out a warning to the entire community it's my feeling that this particular person poses a bigger threat to veganism. And one reason for that feeling is because of all the people rallying around him. A person who is new to YouTube and that none of us have heard of. So what is so special about this person? This is what it says on his channel's about page. Bart K. is a former senior lecturer in clinical physiology, cardiovascular and respiratory, and in exercise physiology, nutrition, research methods, and statistics. Oh, and it's important to make this clear that this guy, I don't know how he eats yet, but he seems to be pro-carnivore. Uh, keep that in your head while you listen to the rest of this. Bart has published a number of peer-reviewed research and review articles. That right there tops almost all of us. I'd say he's up there with Dr. Greger in the same category, which might explain why Bart has gone after Greger and a number of other people. He's published book chapters, external consultancies include, and stuff I don't even know what this means, NRL, NZ, Australian Defense forces. This channel is all about the facts and fallacies in nutrition and physiology. So this is pretty disturbing to have someone of his caliber siding with the craziest diet yet. It was bad enough that people align themselves with low carb, this, but this is two levels crazier and this has gotten so crazy I, I just have to report this stuff. This is what my channel is now about. Although come January, I do want to do what I do every January, talk more about health, diet, and dieting, as January is dieting month. But I will camouflage it well, because I know people need their clickbait. Nutrition Science Watchdog. He tears vegan gains a new one. You cannot use adjusted, i.e. fabricated data to suggest that you have a relationship between this and that which is causal. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous and you need to stop presenting these kind of things as evidence to the great unwashed masses who don't have the skills and understanding of the scientific method and statistical inferences used to be able to call you out on your bullshit. Well, some of the things he says here are good, as you would expect from someone of his caliber. And that is exactly what makes him dangerous. I've said the exact same thing he said there. 
just about. You might remember that maybe a week or two ago, that studies and research and all that stuff. The researchers and scientists should never put that out for public consumption. The public and the media who reports it doesn't understand the studies and doesn't know how to interpret it. But you know why it's put out there? Because it was propaganda to begin with from the point of conception to the moment of truth. Okay, other information about him is that he has 45 videos. His first video was in July. Does that, does that month ring a bell around that month? And looking more through his videos, I noticed his first anti-vegan video was August, just weeks later. And his channel seems to be exactly what the carnivore community seems to be all about. They are very focused on attacking the vegan community. Most of their videos are about vegans. Now it's tempting to have some fun with this guy. And he might be a challenge, good challenge. But in this case, the bigger vegans need to keep resisting giving certain people attention and making them more popular. This guy right now is not popular, but he could be. If you think about it, the only two ways I've heard about this person is by people in the comments. Carnivores bringing his name up. This is also how Michelle Lowe found out about him. She made her first video about him just this morning. This guy's also been conversing with Goji Man, and we're going to see some of that. Of course, that was before Goji Man left. Goji Man has since been missing in action, uh, officially two days, since he said he would come back. So let's not be complacent here. Everyone starts out small, but this guy, you can see him getting big. And he clearly has an army of trolls going around promoting him. And he's gotten Goji Man to talk with him. I think one of those mistakes Goji Man made, as we're going to see, and this is a guy who's trying to get popular. And it appears he has the means to do it. And he could get especially dangerous. This force means business. Remember not to even use his name in print or say his name. And if you post to people like Vegan Gains or Mick the Vegan and Goji Man, don't use his name. Say something like, that guy, the lecturer guy who's been trying to get you to give him attention, to trying to debate you, continue ignoring him. Keep ignoring him. It's the right thing to do here. And remember, they're not going to admit this, but their community is officially going downhill. But it's all up to us. What happens? They could keep themselves alive and up in the buzz in Google's relevancy. But what we need to do now is start to slash, slash the tags and spell their names wrong. Even the word carnivore. And now the other big player in this Goji Man, for some reason, has become popular in carnivore circles. But I've got some footage of an introduction to Goji Man by this creepy carnivore. Listen to this. The man that identifies himself as a fruit makes a cameo. Goji Man says, hi Bart, just wondering if you can confirm what research you are currently involved in as outlined in the video. Also, can you confirm your academic qualifications and where these were obtained? Can you explain your current business interests? I mean, god damn, Goji Man, can you answer some of these questions? They've been asked, not just by me, a lot of other people. Can ya? Can ya, buddy? You need to stop. I just thought it was hilarious that the guy who's not qualified to sniff people's poop, and even once he does get his degree, he still won't be qualified to do any of that. Your entire existence here in YouTube is nothing but a projection. You know what I'm saying. Also, can you provide this empirical evidence you suggest in this video that we are carnivores by design? If you are a true scientist, as you claim, you, <laughs> you would always have an open mind to everyone else's opinions and truths. He's questioning him. And then what does Bart K do? He says, all right, buddy, 
Let's have a live debate. So Goji Man comes to this man's channel. He comes to this man's channel, does everything he ain't supposed to be doing because he had a change of heart. So he comes over to this man's channel, challenges him. Bart K answers, ups the ante, and Goji Man, the ball's in your court. Come on, open-minded. You want to know why we're carnivores by design? Have a debate. You challenged the man, he upped the ante, answered, and I hope you didn't run away with your tail between your legs. The first and foremost nutritionist, vegan nutritionist, fucking oxymoron right there.